it's job site check-in Monday. The team and I are actually working on three projects right around this area. We've got our chalet that's getting a renovation. We have a chalet that's a new build from the ground up. And we have a Victorian farmhouse that's getting a modern addition. So there is no shortage of action happening for us in this country area right here, right now. First, I'm gonna check in on this chalet project. The team has been busy here working. I need to make some tile decisions, finalize the kitchen, and make sure that I can start delivering what they need to get us finished. And one question I have is how come every time I come, the cowboy boot ottoman is still here? I asked you guys, and 93% of you wanted to toss it, and I'm in complete agreement. It's like nobody's getting the memo. This is not part of the final scenario. These boots were made for walking right off this job site. I'm Sarah, and every day my life revolves around design, and I'm sharing it with you. Today is another chapter in my design life. This is the main entry door. All the traffic is gonna come in here. So I was trying to decide, what do we do? Do we put closet doors on here and keep this as a closed off closet? Or do we install a bench, put hooks on the wall with some paneling behind it and a couple of shelves? I think this would be a great solution for just in the door access and storage. But at the same time, I feel like it's gonna look super junky. And is this what you wanna show all your guests every time they arrive, sort of like, bleh, here's all our junk. So I'm thinking we get a pair of barn doors, something a bit more rustic and fun, and then we close this off, we keep this as closed hanging storage for the family, and then we take this room, step back over here. So you come in the door and you only have to take, let's see how many steps it is. I come in, one, two, three, four, five, what used to be the tool room, the wax room for skiing is now going to be our mud room. So what I'm thinking is we're going to coat this room in barn board. We're going to clad it, not necessarily coat it. We're going to clad this room in barn board. So barn board paneling, we've got, I have a lead on some old barn board. I know somebody who just fixed up their barn. So I'm going to take their old boards and we will clad the walls here and around. We'll make new barn board doors on here. I have no idea why there's a bottle of scotch here, but it's not my jam. Or also coconut rum. Ugh. This is like if you invited me for a drink, I would just pass all the things I don't drink. Scotch, coconut rum, Dram Buey. Oh, well, no, I would stick around for this. Some cognac. The storage is a little tight, I agree. It's not perfect, but this is our electrical panel here, and then we can't change that. We can make it look better and function better. So I think with some soft storage bins, this is still great storage. This is a terrific place to hide all the extra hats and mitts and whatnot. On this big wall here, we actually have 88 and a half inches from post to post. So I can get a really nice long bench here, something chunky and solid. We can put hooks all over. We can do two shelves here for great storage. And I think this will help keep the family organized. What I don't like is these double doors. This seems really silly. So I propose we go with a single door here. That door is gonna open in this way. So it will hide and guests will never see the fact that there is an extra fridge here. Fridge is still here, easy access, great to have, but we don't need it on display. That's not really facing forward what you want your guests to see. So that's what's happening here. Come on down here. Here we are in our media room. Of slight concern to me is how very, very intensely pink this fireplace is, and this can't be changed. So selecting a paint color that both tones down the pink yet doesn't completely clash with it, is going to be an interesting challenge. Stay with me. Let's see what happens there. Let's talk about the ceiling. This is four by eight sheets. We pre-primed them before they went up. And now seeing them installed in the primed white, I think it's looking too bright and I don't think it looks great. So I think maybe what we do is, it's always good to look for a color reference. So I think maybe, that's very cold coffee, not mine. Maybe what we do is we pull one of these natural grays out of this mortar. 
because that way we'll get a more fluid effect. This is what I would call a bossy element. It's the biggest thing in the room. It is really strong and we can't ignore it. There's no way, I can try and tone it down, but there is no way I can make it not pink unless, I'm not even gonna say it. Do you know what I'm thinking? What would I do if this was my house? If this was my house, I might actually paint it. I really don't like pink granite, I'm sorry to say. I don't, honest, it's truth time. We all have things we don't like. Pink granite is my least favorite color. So here's my question, what would you do? Would you work with this? Look at this, look at this. Would you celebrate the pinkness of this granite? Or would you consider doing something really bam, dramatic? What would you do? Okay, so I'm happy to see how this ceiling turned out because now that we have run all the lines for the rads, we've run all the lines for the electrical and we've added our sound insulation, we still have a nice amount of our beam left, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely do, yeah. So I'm happy with all that. There's only one thing I'm not happy with. I think I know. You think you know? That little trim piece? Yeah, it looks like a drop ceiling. It completely looks like a cheap drop ceiling. And so I know that we did that thinking it would be better than fully taping it out. But to me, to have come all this way to try and celebrate the beams, I think, mm -hmm. can we just remove that piece and mud it and tape it and make it look nice instead? We for sure can. Yeah. My, my question is, what's happening with the actual beams? Are they getting painted? So I wanted to wait and see. That was a definite wait and see for me. Okay. I think that based on the chalet and the character and the cozy that they want to retain, okay. I think at least some of the rooms should stay pine. And this All is right. gonna be the son's room and I feel like for a boy's room, I would leave the pine as is. Okay. We'll pick a great paint color and then we'll have really fun furniture. So here, we've got great storage closets. The thing is, I want to work with what we've got as much as possible, so I'm trying mm -hmm. to think what's the DIY solution that can make this really transformative. So one idea is, could we apply barn board on here? Um, we could, but the problem is when these doors open, they will butt together. Um, if you add three quarters to it, it will not work. How far in would it have to be to not butt into each other? Probably about half that, I'd say three eighths. Or we could angle them, but again, then you're losing the, the finish. Mm, I'm not necessarily totally opposed to that. Okay. If you get the barn board and if you do the other room first, can you just try an example yeah, of like, sure. what if you bevel it back? Yeah. We could always paint that side edge to yeah, make it disappear. But I feel like at least that would have some nice character. Okay. And yeah. if you come up with a better idea, let me know. All right, well, uh, thinking caps our, on. Let's go see what range. you've been doing upstairs. All right. This is looking good. A lot more room. So much more room. No. Now, let's just talk quickly about this kitchen layout. Okay. So the stove is going to stay where the stove used to be, except it's going to be an awesome gas range here. And then we will have a narrow bit of cabinetry that will come along the window wall. A nice big peninsula will come out here. We'll have fridge and lots of storage over on that wall. Big peninsula coming out. We'll be able to get just two stools on the ends, mm -hmm. which is, I think, fine. And then this will be a really great prep zone with the sink and the range right here. Yeah. I... Do you think we've arrived at the best plan? I do. You do? I do. Yes. He hesitated when he said that. that no, was like no. A, I do. Just FYI, if you decide to do that other thing that requires you to say those two words like I do, uh, maybe don't hesitate <laughs> when you do that. Uh, I, I did that once before. Oh, you did? Okay, well that's why you're having trouble hesitating right now. Here's the idea I was wondering about. Now that you've filled in this area and gained us so much more space. I'm not gonna stand on it with you. No, I'm okay. Kidding. I'm kidding. No. <laughs> Nice. So what I was thinking is, maybe we should install a bar here. You may remember, I was thinking that last time, but there was one little problem. There's a rad right there. But there's a rad right there, did you say? Right. <laughs> a bar with a rad. 
For Apres Ski, the only thing more important than a warm chalet is a cold cocktail. So you guessed it, we moved that rad. I'm not thinking water, don't worry. We're not gonna do a bar sink, but we can do a bar fridge and we can do a cabinet that could be like a liquor cabinet and storage. And then we could have storage above. So glasses, so that if you're entertaining, this becomes like a self-serve bar area. Perfect. And it gets people out of the bottleneck of the kitchen. Right. The next idea I had was, would we install a counter here? Well, if you got the bar here, it makes sense to be able to sit right there. Because our railing will be at 42. Yeah. But we could do our counter could be mounted down here and it could just be a floating piece of stone. Mm -hmm. And just a couple of stools here. Okay. Like a little place to set up a laptop or kind of hang out. Do you like that idea? I do. We've talked a lot about this floor. We've had two people come and look at it and quote, both of whom say it will be at least $5,000. That seems like a lot to me. We could install right. a new engineered floor for close to the same price. Yes. Our clients like the idea of this place being cozy. It's country. This is a ski cabin. This is yeah. not supposed to be a completely pristine contemporary home. Yeah. yeah. So my question is, is it worth doing it ourselves? And when I say ourselves, I mean add a Y to that, yourself. That's a YDI. That's a YDI, yeah. you do it. I definitely think it's worth doing it ourselves. I feel like this would be super easy. You feel and like everything is super yeah. easy. <laughs> I know, that is the optimist in me. Wow. Okay, but come on. Well, it's, you should have this done in no runs. time. I refinished all the floors myself in mm -hmm. our first farm and they looked amazing. So I feel like we can do this. I'll come and help. Perfect. I'll come and you help. You got that? You got that? I'll come and help. <laughs> okay, what do our stain samples look like? Do you remember my post on Instagram about stain? Let's see how our stain options line up with our tile choices. This is our backsplash for the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So if I look at these, I feel like charcoal gray looks too blue. Weathered wood is okay, but it's looking a little bit... Brownie. A little bit brownie, a little bit not there. Slate looks too brownie charcoal. Like this looks like you just rubbed charcoal out of the fireplace. Mm -hmm. Classic uh, gray. Classic gray, yep. Up here looks okay. Down here, it's looking very olivey to me. Yeah, so that I wiped. Yep. Like the bottom half, I wiped okay. right away. And then this, I let sit for a lot longer. The whitewash we don't want because we're still gonna see everything. So we've got weathered gray here. And then I did weathered gray again and wiped it right away. So this was wiped right away and then yeah. this was left and then I did this one again and I basically wiped it right after to make it a little bit lighter. See, I think this is good. We're getting the texture of the wood, we're seeing the knots, we're getting all the imperfections. Like this is what we want. We want this something stuff. that looks yeah. rustic. rustic. We want something that has character. We want something that has some depth of color. We want something that's gonna look good with the other elements that we're bringing in. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's the one. I think it would be worth doing a bigger sample. I mean, it's great that you did them here because this is gonna have a bathtub on top of it and it's gonna be tiled in this gorgeous tile. So this is a great place to try it, try before you buy. But I think, do you guys agree that that's the right direction? I love this one. So I think it would be worth trying it on a couple of boards that we could actually see out in the sunshine and just see how it feels. Oh yeah. Off to the races. Let's do it. I think this is going to be amazing. Next time. Oh, I see lighting. Yes, we need lighting. I saw this really neat light fixture I want to show you. Okay. You're having a light bulb moment. I'm having a light bulb moment. Shopping's always more fun with a partner.